Hey everyone, welcome back to the dining room shop. So I just recently today got this new uh, air bearing spindle up and running under servo control. And I'm going to be using it for uh, another project, which you'll probably see later on, uh, in which I don't necessitate uh, positional servo control. I'm just using it at a constant velocity. But this is a pretty high resolution encoder. Uh, and it's pretty incredible, uh, the repeatability and the, uh, the, the resolution that it has. So I thought it'd be uh, fun to, to play with the positional servoing for a, a little bit and make a quick video oogling at some small numbers because that's always fun to do. So this spindle, we'll take a look at it real quick in the setup. This is a uh, Professional Instruments ISO 3R Shorty spindle originally made uh, for the hard disk uh, mastering industry. Um, it's an anodized aluminum construction and has an integral motor on the back. And critically, if we take a look around, a micro E PE100 encoder. So this is a high speed analog uh, encoder which is then going into the Ioni servo drives there, or one of them rather. And the encoder disc itself has uh, 4,096 lines. You have uh, you know 4X multiplier, uh, just decoding it with quad quadrature. And then the drives are additionally interpolating uh, another 256X. So what that gets you at the end of the day uh, is a positional resolution of just around 0.3 arc seconds and it you know turns out this is a very small angle uh, and i'm going to, to demonstrate just how small that is so i've got the uh, starrett uh, gauge amp set up here and i'm indicating on the end of this uh, steel parallel here uh, it's nice and tall in this dimension so it's very stiff uh, in the direction we're measuring, and I've got the indicator set up on the, uh, the stand here. Note that I'm not using the fine adjust, I'm just using the solid uh, solid shaft all the way down. So that helps it, helps it be a much more rigid gauging setup. Despite uh, that precaution, the spindle, if you haven't noticed, is mounted on a 3D printed mount, of course. Uh, so I'm sure you've already noticed, drift is a big, big problem. And that's going to be constant throughout the video. I've turned off my air conditioning for recording purposes because then it becomes completely unmanageable. Uh, but you'll still see that thing moving around just as the, the PLA uh, shrinks and uh, grows just from my presence shifting around it. Anyways, let's re-zero this here and take a look at what we can do with it. So, of course, it's under servo control right now. It's it's holding itself up, holding that bar up there at around 90 degrees. And I'm just going to jog it uh, with the, the smallest uh, increments possible. So this is that 0.3 arc second um, uh, jog movement. And we're on the finest scale on the, uh, the steroid here. So looking at the top scale, plus or minus one tenth. So each division on this top scale is five micro inches, five millionths of an inch, or just around, just over uh, 0.1 micron for you metric folk. And so let's give it a jog. Jog, jog, jog. And these are incredibly small movements here. Uh, so 0.3 arc second resolution at a radius of just around three and a quarter inch is what it comes out to. Uh, if you do if you do that that math, uh, you get a, a 4.7 uh, micro inch um, displacement at that radius. So that's about what we're seeing here, maybe a little bit less even. But this is uh, this is pretty pretty incredible here. But what I think is even more incredible than the ability to just 
move a very small amount, which is always cool. As if we crank the displacements up a little more. Let's move a much farther distance here. It's about 90 degrees, and then we come back. Look at that. That's just amazing. How about 180 degrees? Back again. It just doesn't get old. You could do that all day. And you can see it moving there a little bit. Uh, but I'm, I'm saying that's just the drift of the, uh, of the mount. The other fun thing you can do, of course, is, you know, turn the servo off. So this has been enabled the whole time, and so it's trying to hold position. But I can just uh, turn it off there. And now we're back to a nice, floppy, uh, low-friction air bearing spindle. Now this is something that confuses people, and I think I've addressed it before, but because of the permanent magnet brushless motor on the back, uh, there is a large amount of damping. So that's why you see this uh, not oscillating a tone or not spinning, you know, completely frictionlessly. Um, there is damping from the motor and some amount of friction from the air film. Uh, but the critical thing and what is so important for aerostatic and hydrostatic spindles is there is absolutely zero static friction. But anyways, having played with that for a while, we can now re-enable it and it's servoing again. And there's a nice bit of drift there, but we can repeat the experiment on a shorter time scale. And that's what we'd like to see. Now I have the tune not as aggressive as I initially made it, uh, just for this particular uh, setup. I don't want the bar slamming into the indicator at high speed and or high jerk and acceleration and kicking it up. So I have the acceleration turned way down and the, the tuning's a bit softer. So if I push on the bar here, you know, of course it, it, it moves it quite a bit. You know, it's relative. It's still less than a tenth at this radius, but the interesting thing is I can feel it, you know, trying to fight me. And of course, it being a servo under a constant load, uh, it has infinite stiffness uh, within the current limit of the motor. Uh, it's only when you give it some dynamic disturbance does it uh, start to get less stiff. But yeah, that's why the, uh, the acceleration is uh, so, so slow and these motion profiles are so smooth. I can turn the, uh, you know, the, the, those settings up and really get it uh, snappy, uh, clicking back and forth almost, uh, and with the same degree of repeatability. That's the, that's the best part. But yeah, I thought the I thought that was always a, always something that, that people like to see, or people like myself at least. Um, really incredible repeatability of a uh, of an air bearing spindle uh, servoing around. So hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.